So, <clears throat> what if I were to tell you that You may not be aware of it, but there are at least three, maybe four different cures for different types of cancer that, well, you just don't get. You're allowed to die at the hands of an inept profession that refuses to identify the truth. And allows thousands and thousands of us to die unnecessarily for profit because they know that if they were to allow these cures for cancers to get out that it would destroy their economy they would no longer have their cancer walks that if they let the truth come out that it would set you free from the medical profession as a whole the pharmaceutical industry as a industry that you would no longer have to rely on them see I have watched a few cures for cancer and I've seen people completely reversed from those cancers and I ask myself is it really that deep do they really allow us to die while claiming to be the saviors of the world are they really that evil if I tell you there's a cure for pancreatic cancer would you call me a liar if I gave you the proof, would you still deny the truth? If I were to show you, not in my words, but in studies done by the pharmaceutical industry that they have proven that there's a 40 day cure for pancreatic cancer, the most aggressive, deadly type of cancer known to man. Would you believe me? If I told you that the cures for cancer that I have seen work from my Amish friend who's in federal prison for selling the cure for skin cancer outside the Amish community. It's a law. If I told you that Renee Cassie had a cure for blood cancer that was 75 to 80 percent oh with stage four blood cancers would you believe me if I told you I've seen that work that dr. Robert barefoot was actually on to something with the alkalization Dr. Otto Warburg proved that cancer could be caused in any organ of any animal within 90 days by making that organ acidic. If I told you that I've seen people with stage 4 cancers that completely 
went into complete remission. But that it will never be shared with you. Less, except for right here, for as long as I can. If I told you that your doctors, teachers, were funded by a pharmaceutical industry hell-bent on keeping you on pharmaceutical drugs while avoiding and even demeaning, bad-mouthing anything that's not a drug or under patent. If I told you that they kill 210,000 a year with drugs and unnecessary surgeries, would you believe that? What would you do about it if I could prove it? What if I told you that the truth will set you free? That the lies you have been believing have killed your family. Those lies will kill your children. These men are hell-bent on death to protect industry that they hold dear. Think about it like this. I posed my reluctant admission that there are cures out there with this question. Why? Why in the hell could they justify, how could they justify the murder of all of these people in the name of righteousness after they did the proof after they did the studies but they could not synthesize it so they let you die anyway how do they justify that? One of my friends told me, he said, Seth, you don't understand. Put yourself in the position of the owner of the pharmaceutical company. His job is to protect his interests. In the interest of the stockholders, all the oncologists, all the nurses, to protect their income. And an all natural, inexpensive cure for cancer would mean the end of all those cancer walks and all those oncologists and all those nurses and all those big buildings and all those all that funding and all the multi-billions of dollars that would crush the United States economy overnight. It would destroy that industry. Did you know that cancer is the number two biggest money maker in the world? If you had an inexpensive, all-natural cure, it would cause 
so much distress and heartache and eventually bring down the entire pharmaceutical industry that employs more people than almost any other industry and that we all will fall victim to or in need of at some point. You can't just dismantle that with your natural, inexpensive cures. Those poor doctors that spent their lives learning to be oncologists would be out of jobs. Those poor nurses, nowhere to go. All those big buildings vacant. That's a sick bastard. I'm just being honest. If you can't see the children dying, the mothers lost, the fathers, if you've never seen someone whose child was tore away from them because they would not they refused to give the child any more chemotherapy. The child didn't want it, the parents didn't want it, so the state took their son away and killed that child with chemotherapy. Not able to see his mother or father because they tried to refuse the treatment that killed him. If you have never seen a human being devoid of a soul because of what the state and the medical profession has done to them, then you do not understand the hell of tyranny, the destruction of the lack of freedom of medicine. And you don't understand what our pharmaceutical industry is willing and able to do to keep their pockets lined and keep our morgues full. I found this trip to live. <clears throat> it is a <clears throat> Dutterfenol epoxide found in the Thunder God vine. <clears throat> it has in vitro and in vivo activities against mouse models of polycystic kidney disease and pancreatic cancer, but its physical properties limit its therapeutic potential. Since then, since this study of 2013, you can find this as a supplement. I don't carry it. I can't get it here. But you can find places to get this. It has been proven to eradicate pancreatic cancer in 40 days. And this is just one of them. They've been using it for years in China. And say it's mostly safe. Every now and then someone gets an upset stomach. You see... It says, uh, <clears throat> a little-known plant with a truly bizarre name is now making headlines as a cancer killer with the compound 
of the plant vanishing tumors in mice with pancreatic cancer known as the thunder god vine or Li Gong Ting Teg. The Chinese plant is actually integrated into Chinese medicine and has been used for ages in remedying a number of conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis. According to the new research out of the University of Minnesota Masonic Cancer Center, the Thunder God plant compound led to no signs of tumors after a 40-day period, even after discontinuing the treatment. Published in the Journal of Science, Translational Medicine, ScienceMag.org. Pancreatic Cancer Meets Thunder God. That was 2013. Google this stuff. It is absolutely astounding. It is structurally unique deterpene tripoxide isolated from tr Chinese traditional uh, medical plant with anti-inflammatory, immunosuppressive, contraceptive, and anti-tumor activity. Its molecular mechanism of action has remained largely elusive to date. That was 2013. We report that triplod co 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 covalently, covalently binds to human XPB, also known as ERCC3, a subnit of the transcription factor TFIIH and inhibits DNA dependent ATP. ASE activity, which leads to the inhibition of RNA polymerase II medicated transcription and likely nucleotide excision repair. The identification of XPB as uh, the target of triptolide accounts for the majority of the known biological activities of triptolide. These findings also suggest that triptolide can serve as a new molecular probe for studying transcription and potentially as a new type of anti-cancer agent through inhibition of ATP, ASE, activity of XPB. You know who found this and where I found this? A guy named Dr. Anthony Melvin Castro, PhD. Dr. Crasto, I'm sorry, is um, dying, if he hasn't died already, and decided to release all the cures that he had found from the pharmaceutical industry that they don't let you know about from every country. It's all documented perfectly on his website. Honestly, take the time to look this guy up. You can email him at amcrasto at gmail.com. One of the reasons I do not carry this on Deuce Arms is because I did not want anyone to think that I had a monetary reason behind this. I want you to look this up. I want you to do your studying. And I want you to come to your own conclusion as to why in the hell, since 2013, they've known a non-toxic, pretty much non-toxic, cure for cancer, but they still use chemo and radiation. You know how much it costs to make chemotherapy? It cost about $11 to make a treatment that'll cost you a million. That's a markup. Did you know that chemotherapy is the only drug legally a doctor can be paid directly 
from selling it. They cut out the middleman and let the doctor sell the chemo. That's why they use it for everything. From autoimmune disorders to cancers to whatever. They'll put it in little pills. They'll put it in liquids. They'll inject it into you. They'll play Russian roulette with you hoping that they kill cancer out before they kill the patient. <coughs> but this... Nah, can't have that. It's not a synthetic. They'd rather let you die. Me personally, I find it a lot better to stay alkaline, hydrated, detoxify constantly, and Keep cellular reproduction at a high so that your body has the energy, the immune function, and the fluidity to prevent cancer. It's easier to prevent, but if I had cancer, especially pancreatic cancer, that. I would be using. Understand this. Nothing I say has been evaluated by the FDA and is not intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dentist. I'm not a lawyer. I didn't drink a Red Bull. Don't have wings. Didn't stay in a Motel 8 last night. But I spend a lot of time studying and finding things that work. For research purposes and for people. In the hopes that one day we will live in a free nation, a nation that has the freedom of medicine and will allow us to heal ourselves instead of waiting on an inept medical profession to cure a disease when they haven't cured a single one in 60 years except for the one they cause hepatitis C they can cure hepatitis because if they cure hepatitis you can take more drugs because drugs cause hepatitis isn't that funny do you think that's a coincidence that over a 60 year period they can't cure the common cold but they can get rid of what they cause so you can take more of their product? This isn't conspiracy theory, this is a damn fact. If you don't believe me and you think anything I have said is not true, prove me wrong and I will relent. I will issue an apology, a backtrack, and I will correct whatever wrong that I have spoken. But I doubt that happens. Please enlighten me, though. I love to learn. I hate to be lied to. I love life, and I like people to get better. But I hate lies. I hate deception, and I hate those who would rather make profit than to watch their brothers heal. So now that we know where each other stands, I will always stand on the side of truth in the face of any evil. Because any concession between good and evil, only evil wins. I will not relent. Neither should you. Tell me what y'all think about this. Anything else I've said. I love y'all. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe.
share, comment. Newsarms.com. N-E-W-S-A-R-M-S. Because we are an arm of the news media. Here to bring you news. Because I'm a journalist. And as a journalist, well, I can't be censored for freedom of the press. Right, YouTube? Love you.